Hi, this is Dan Nash at Backpackers Review. And for the fall of 2012, spring of 2013, there's a lot of new backpacks out there. And one of them is this Mie Axpel backpack. It's a mountaineering backpack and can also be a nice weekend backpack. We're gonna let you know how it did when we tested it in Peru. This is the Mie Axpel 48 backpack. It's a 48 liter backpack, which is originally made for mountaineering, but you can also use it for some other um, weekend type activities, day hiking, things like that. Some of the features on it, number one, it's got a really large lid in the top. It's exceedingly big, as big as um, any pack the, of this size that I have ever tested. So you put a lot of things up here, like uh, first aid kits and uh, snacks and a variety of different things up here in the lid. It's got a couple of access points. It's got the regular access point in the top out of the storm flap, and then it's got bottom access that basically unzips the whole bottom of it. And then inside there's a zipper compartment where you can actually have one big zipper, or you can have a sleeping bag compartment, and you can separate it up down here um, with this little divider. It's also got storage on the hip belts with zippered hip belt pockets, which I always like. Um, again, to store a small camera, lots of little small things on the hip belt, easy access to. And then it's got really deep, meshy stretch pockets on the side that are great for one liter water bottles or for whatever else you want to put in here. Um, they stretch, they're really deep, they'll swallow up a one liter bottle um, very easily. And they're a little bit taller, more or taller than most uh, regular backpacks. And the reason for that is so that if you're wearing a harness, mountaineering and things, um, they're not gonna be in your way. The bottle's gonna be up just a little bit higher. Uh, won't get in the way of your harness, accessing gear off of your harness and things like that. It's got um, points back here to hold um, ice tools. If you're mountaineering again, it's got um, points on the bottom to store uh, tents or uh, sleeping um, pads, things of that nature on the bottom. And then when you flip it around, you see it's got a nice um, shoulder strap, sternum strap compartment. Um, padded, but not overly padded to help keep the weight down. But the big seller of this pack and the best thing about this pack is the hip belt. You can see that it's mesh, so it's a lightweight hip belt, but yet there's also a nice good padding here. The best thing is this mobility um, back system. As you can see, the entire hip belt swings and kind of works so that like, when you're hiking, it'll actually go along with your hip flexors and with, and, uh, um, with your legs when you're stepping and scrambling up things. Um, there's other backpacks out on the market that have similar type of systems. Uh, the difference between this pack and those packs is that this is much higher. Usually um, the pivoting point is down here low, so it's like on um, uh, the um, basically the, the back of your um, tailbone, and this one is actually up higher, so it's up more like your lumbar. And actually I think you get a lot more mobility out of this because of that. So of all the packs I've tested, three or four different packs with the um, hip belt system that swivels or moves around, this is um, probably the most mobile of any of those packs that I've tested. So even though it's lightweight, it's still tough. Um, we tested it in Peru on a couple of uh, 19 and 20,000 foot peaks. The pack did really well, it's durable, it's tough. So if you're looking definitely for a light mountaineering pack, 48 liters, um, perfect little summit pack, or if you're looking for a pack just for a weekend outing, um, light weekend hiking, maybe a bigger day hiking pack, definitely want to check out this uh, Mie Axpel pack. It's not just a mountaineering pack, you can use it for a variety of functions. Mm -hmm.